Hello, one and all. Welcome to the Galaxy Manager channel interview here with... I'm Jenna Garcia. I play the Pink Ranger Kim Hart um, for Power Rangers Unworthy. That's me. <laughs> awesome. Uh, okay, my first question is, uh, with Power Rangers Unworthy, how fun, like, how fun did you got, like, new cast members have making Power Rangers Unworthy? Um, to us, it's kind of really all about the fun. It's not really much about anything else. I mean, obviously, we uh, are trying to make it awesome for the fans and the community, but we started this because it was fun. So we always have a ball on set. Um, we all get along really, really great. Awesome. Uh, next question. Uh, with the role of Kimberly, how you played an LGBT character with with the like the LGBT uh, community these days. How how fun was it like kind of portraying Kimberly and even and like with Kim, Kimberly and the Tommy relationship in between that. How fun was it playing uh, Kimberly and being in the re relationship with Tommy in that kind of aspect? Um, I actually really enjoyed it. Um being somebody from the LGBTQ uh, community myself, um, it's really awesome because there's a lot of representation for my community there. Um, and it was really, really great. Um, there was a lot of good chemistry on set between Angela and myself when it came to um, doing the scenes. It was a lot of fun. Um, and it was fun for me because, of course, I want to see more gay characters. And it, it made me happy inside. So I'm hoping that it makes everybody else happy inside too. Well, I just want to say you did an amazing performance as Kimby, Kimberly, and I really like. Thank you. Actually, got into the whole. Yeah, you did like one amazing, brilliant role as Kimberly with the part of Kimberly, and I just want to say, you, yeah, I really loved your performance. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Uh, next question: uh, With how long did it take to actually film the whole of Power Rangers Unworthy? Um, episode one or two? Uh, episode or all of it. <laughs> uh, probably all of it, yeah, if that you can say that. So, um, episode one wasn't really that long. We filmed it over like a four day weekend kind of thing. So, we knocked that out pretty fast. It was maybe three days total of filming. Um, episode two was the longer one. Uh, I want to say maybe it took us about six months to do. Um, we had a lot of issues with location. We thought we had a location secured, and then we were in the middle of filming, and then we got kicked out because apparently we weren't supposed to be there. Uh, just silly things like that, but we ended up um, fixing all the problems. Um, and then, of course, the editing issues and stuff like that, because this is our first time um, when it comes to editing and doing visual effects and stuff like that. So we have a great team behind us um, who helped us out. And yeah, this one definitely took a lot longer. I think we've started filming in November. Okay. And we didn't finish filming until maybe a month and a half ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. And with, like, uh, to get on that question, uh, so with, like, the whole of the acting industry, like, how do you think, with the acting industry these days, how do you think the act with the acting industry, how do you think that's progressed over the years? Um, as far as YouTube goes or like Hollywood? Um, as far as YouTube and like with like online success and stuff. Um, I'm actually not too sure how to answer that because before this, I didn't really consider myself an actor or anything like that. Um, I had more of a background in uh, theater as far as backstage goes, like set design and stuff like that. So this is the first time I had personally been like in front of the camera. Um, but I think it's really opening up a world for YouTube actors and stuff like that, because there's plenty of people out there who are influencers and they do daily vlogs and stuff like that. But there's a whole other acting community on YouTube, and it, it's cool to see it kind of grow that way. It's sort of super small, and now we have huge projects going on, like Unworthy, Janagers, uh, The First Ninja, all those other Ranger series. It, it's really, really booming, and I love it. And the next question uh, I have is, um, with, like, if you could be a Power Ranger in real life, like, like, if you could be a Power Ranger in any season that you've seen before, which Power Ranger season and what team members from any Power Ranger season would you have on your team? Ooh, oh, that's hard. Um, 
my favorite ranger of all time is Jen Scott's, so I'd have to have her, even though she's pink too. Maybe we have two pink <laughs> rangers, but um, I'd probably actually like to be like a female um, wolf, the wolf ranger, uh, I think Genki Wolf is for Jap uh, the Japanese um, in Jungle Fury. Really, really love that. So I'd like to wear that and I'd like to be that because um, my spirit guide, so to speak, is a wolf. So I really, really like that character. Um, probably, if I had to add on to that, that's one, two, three, maybe two more, maybe. Um, I like Wes from Time Force also. And Hmm, that's hard. Maybe Aisha from MMPR. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think that'd be a good team for me. With the, with the last and final question I have for you uh, today, uh, mm -hmm. if anyone wants to get into acting and make their own projects with th their own fan films, what would you recommend them do? Um... For me personally, don't go into it thinking that you're acting. Um, when you think about, I have to act right now, it kind of gets a little stiff and seems fake. Um, you want to make it as like natural as possible. When I go into doing scenes for Kim, um, I usually try to think about it how I would do it. Like, how would I personally react to the situation? And then I'm really like character. And then I kind of just, I try to make it with the I don't want to risk doing things. So make sure you have fun doing it and you're Awesome. Well, thank you so much, uh, Jenna Garcia. You are one truly amazing person. Uh, and I thank you. Am, thank you for joining my uh, interview show that I do on YouTube called The Galaxy Man Show. And it was a pleasure supporting you and doing this interview with you on my show. No, we're, we're oh. still continuing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, that's yeah, actually we got six, me hyped now. <laughs> yeah, we have six episodes planned. Oh. We have an Indiegogo launched right now because okay. it's quite expensive doing all of them, yep. the things that we do for Unworthy. But yeah, okay. we have six episodes planned. We're not stopping. Oh, thank you so much. Because I actually got told by, <laughs> I think, like, a, I don't know what the fan page was all called, but they actually said that you guys were stopping now after, no. like, part two. Thank you. No, no, that is false. Oh, <laughs> We're going to keep going. Thank you so much. You actually got me so hyped for this now. Thank you so much. <laughs>